their Jesuit friends, relatives, collaborators, and benefactors, I welcome each one of you for this feast mass on the feast day of St. Ignatius of Loyola. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. During the last few days, we have fixed our gaze and turn the hearts and minds to St. Ignatius of Loyola, our founder. The thought of this great saint evokes in us certain feelings of freshness, enthusiasm, joy and peace. Even though the COVID-19 is playing havoc on all fronts, all over the world, trying to dismantle hope and diminish our spirit, Yet inspired by the example of St. Ignatius, who served as a relentless and powerful warrior of Christ, we have been able to rise and stand, united as friends in the Lord, in our fight against the infection, strictly adhering to various safety measures and reaching out to those affected by the prolonged lockdown. The spirit of margis and of our charism of discernment beckons us more particularly under the present COVID-19 circumstances, to a simple and meaningful celebration of the feast of our founder, so that our expression of solidarity with the suffering is made more visible, both in spirit and in action. As we have come together to celebrate the feast of these great saints and Ignatius of Loyola, who founded the Society of Jesus, he leads us on. He sets an example before us to embrace the situation as it is and to fight against all odds, all for the greater glory of God. I invite each one of you now to take stock of your lives, to make an inward journey and cleanse ourselves, purge ourselves of all that is unkind, all that bothers us, all that comes in between our relationship with one another and with the divine. And we ask the Lord to bless us and forgive us for all the sins that we have committed. And together we acknowledge it. I confess, I confess to Almighty to God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Christ, the Son of the Father. Jesus Christ, the Son of Man. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, right hand of the Father. of St. Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name. Grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading. There is something like a burning fire shut up in my bones. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. O oh Lord, you have enticed me and I was enticed. You have overpowered me and you have prevailed. I have become a laughing stock all day long. Everyone mocks me for whenever I speak, I must cry out, I must shout, violence and destruction. For the word of the Lord has become for me a reproach and a reason all day long. If I say, I will not mention him or speak any more in his name, then within me there is something like a burning fire shut up in my bones. I am weary with holding it in, and I cannot. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Your response to the psalm shall be, taste and see that the Lord is good. Kindly repeat. Taste, taste and, and see that, that, the, that the Lord is, is good. good. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Your response? Taste, Taste and, and see that, that the Lord, Lord is good. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. Your response? Taste, Taste and, and see that, that the, the Lord, Lord is good. good. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly one called, the Lord heard, and rescued him from all his distress. Your response? Taste, Taste and see, see that, that the, the Lord, Lord is good. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who fear him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks a refuge in him. Your response? Taste, Taste and, and see, see that, that the Lord, Lord is good. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones. They lack nothing, those who fear him. The rich suffer, want to go hungry. But those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. Your response? Taste, Taste and see that the Lord is good. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Give no offense to Jews or to Greeks or to the church of God, just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking 
my own advantage, but that of many, so that they may be saved. Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the acclamation. can become my disciple if you do not give up all your possessions. Large crowds were traveling with Jesus and he turned and said to them, whoever comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and even life itself cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not first sit down and estimate the cost to see whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to ridicule him, saying, This fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going out to wage war against another king, will not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to oppose the one who comes against him with 20,000? If he cannot, then while the other is still far away, he sends a delegation and asks for the terms of peace. So therefore, none of you can become my disciple if you do not give up all your possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have a medley which we sing during the parties, a party song. Oh, when the saints go marching in, I want to be in that number. Most of us don't mean it because we are in a party mood. But Saint Ignatius, after reading the lives of saints, 
he asked himself if dominic can become a saint if francis francis of assisi can become a saint why can't i become a saint he was ambitious but he was determined too and in order to become that saint he was ready to do anything such a determination determination he had and he became a saint a saint who inspires us who has inspired the church brought about a paradigm shift in its thinking and going about all because he was ready to walk that extra mile and all for the greater glory of god many of you i'm sure know ignatius well many of you have gone through his spiritual exercises some of you also know his constitutions and other writings like autobiography so different aspects different facets of his personality many of us know but today what we are going to do is trying to understand trying to know ignatius with five d's and then perhaps you need to ask a question to yourself who is ignatius to me just as jesus asked his disciples who do you think i am who is ignatius to you and let's look at this five d's the first one is discernment the second one is determination the third one is decision the fourth one is direction and the fifth one is distinction let's come back to the first one discernment ignatius was a man of discernment he made that inward journey from periphery to the core from ignorance to knowledge or truth from shadows to light or enlightenment and while doing so he got connected with himself in the silence of his heart he could hear the voice of god directing him speaking to him and he was able to discern discern good from bad and based on this discernment later on he was able to take decisions somebody asked him what what will you do st ignatius if the pope suppresses the society as you know the jesuits take the fourth vow of obedience to pope and loyalty to the church and this question was posed to him what will you do if the society is suppressed and st ignatius calmly replied i will go to the chapel sit in front of the blessed sacrament for 15 minutes and i will come out more serene and happy he was able to understand the will of god through the discernment process if it is the will of god that the society has to be suppressed let's submit it to the will of god and indeed the society was suppressed and later on it was restored and that is the discernment in indian terminology in indian philosophy we talk now this is not something which ignatius invented discernment discernment was already there in religious practices before him but he popularized it he popularized this tool spiritual tool to understand the will of god and he has written the rules according to his based on his experiences in the indian philosophy we talk discernment as viveka 
and to explain this a beautiful story of a royal swan is given a bowl of milk mixed with water is placed before this royal swan raj hamsh and this royal swan is able to drink only milk by leaving out water in the bowl that is viveka and ignatius is that royal swan he he will leave out all that is evil and glean all that is good through the process of discernment the second d is determination ignatius was a man of determination he was a warrior he would get whatever he wanted rain or shine there is a story told about two rajputs and as you know rajputs belong to warrior class they are known for their bravery and courage two of them appeared in emperor akbar's court and requested him that we are ready to join your army to fight the enemies and akbar asked them do you carry any proof of your courageousness do you have any certificate with you this is what is asked today if you go for interviews and immediately these two rajputs young men took off their swords and pierced through each other's chests and both of them fell dead the courtiers the ministers and akbar was too shocked he called one of his loyal closest navratnas as they were called birbal and asked him i only said do you have a certificate do you have any proof i didn't expect them to kill themselves like this and birbal tells him your question was wrong what certificate they can produce they are known for their bravery they are known for their courage they are known for their valor and if you going if you are going to ask a question they are going to show you even at the point of death by giving their lives and that's exactly what they have done ignatius was like that determined when his knee was shattered in the battle of pamplona all his companions the other soldiers fled fearing the defeat but he kept fighting alone against the enemy and when he was knocked down by that cannon ball the enemy was taken up they were surprised to see his courage and determination and they took him to the hospital and the story of his conversion begins that is the determination st ignatius had the third one is decision he was a man of right decision how could he make right decisions we make decisions but time will tell us whether the decision that we have taken is right or wrong but in his case mostly he was a man of right decision how could he do that he could do that because of the art of discerning through the process of discernment he could come to decision and he could carry out that decision through his determination he wanted to always do something beautiful for god and his people and he did it with determination through a process of discernment coming to a decision and he makes a distinction between making a decision and taking a decision taking a decision involves not only what he has discerned but that what he has discerned he will allow his companions to resonate with the feelings and thoughts of his and then come to a common decision communal discernment and through this communal discernment he will take a decision that's what a good leader does 
by taking into consideration taking on board all the stakeholders and then makes his decision the fourth one is direction he was a man of direction ignatius was a man of direction because he had a compass and that compass was god god was directing him and in the constitution he writes that jesus christ drives us jesus christ drives us to any decision and this decision has to be in favor of those who are favored by jesus christ so all those who are socially politically economically excluded or those who are at the margins making a decision in their favor acting in their favor was a direction which he used to get from god driven by jesus life and finally the fifth one is distinction what do you mean by distinction distinction he was a man after distinction that means whatever he wanted to do whatever he said he did it for the greater glory of god and greater means doing better the best and this is the majis this is the majis which is a hallmark of jesuits and jesuit works this impels all of us inspires all of us propels all of us to go ahead and work for the cause and recently for the general one year ago announced the universal preferences of the society of jesus through this process of majis and discernment the whole of the society got together in the provinces put their heads together and discern what is required of us today and father general taking into consideration the whole society of jesus has come out with these four universal preferences and the provinces have come out with province apostolic plans for 10 years 5 years 10 years the preferences are going to be for 10 years what are these preferences showing the way to god through the spiritual exercises and discernment what we can contribute to the world is the spiritual experience of ignatius our own experiences going through it and the process of discernment that we practice through that we can show the way to god second is walking with the poor the excluded those who are at the margins those whose dignity is violated today during this pandemic when there were prolonged lockdowns one after the other people went through immense suffering they were not thrown out on the streets because there was lockdown but they were in their rooms in the houses without food starving some of them walking miles and miles to be with their families it is these people that we are called to serve each one of us need to understand our bond with the poor and the socially politically and economically excluded the third one is accompanying young people in the creation of hope filled future young people we can influence we can inspire because they are the future of the world if they are hopeless nothing can be done and we have to give them hope filled future and the fourth one is collaborating in the care of a common home the environment and ecology a connectedness with it understanding that everything and everyone in the universe is interconnected interrelated and interdependent what is happening in the state of goa today look at when the lockdown happened when the lockdown was announced quietly they worked out developmental projects at the cost of environment all these developmental projects widening of roads double track of 
railways, all going through the wildlife sanctuary at Mole, destroying, it's going to destroy the biodiversity that we have preserved for ages. And the government who is supposed to protect this is passing laws to destroy this biodiversity. We should rise and protect our Mother Earth. Let us continue to be inspired by this man of God, the man for others, who lived for others, and who found the glory of God in the service of his fellow human beings. Amen. Let's now rise and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let's put forth our prayers and intention through the intercession of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Our response will be sung. Holy Mother Church, for our Holy Father Pope Francis, our Bishop Philip Neri, for all the bishops, priests, and God's people, by the lives of commitment, fidelity, and service, may we all bring the light of our Lord Jesus Christ to our world. We pray. In your love, hear us, o Lord. For the Society of Jesus and all Jesuits around the world, that the true to our charism, we may seek to find God in all things, in all people, and live and work for His greater glory. Our response. In your love, hear us, o Lord. For our Father General Arturo Sosa, that true to the inspiration of our founding father, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, he may obtain the necessary graces to guide the society in our challenging times, we pray. In your love, hear us, o Lord. For all our benefactors and lay collaborators who generously support and labor with us in our different ministries and apostolates, we pray that God may reward you with treasures of His grace here and in the world to come, we pray. many good vocations to the Society of Jesus, that the good Lord may inspire many young men and women to respond to his call of generous service by calling them to follow him more closely by embracing religious life. We pray. In your love, hear us, o Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift of St. Ignatius of Loyola to the Society to the church and the world. He followed Jesus Christ in his footsteps and tried to reach out to those who are at the margins, those who are excluded, those who are poor, to realize the kingdom of God here on earth. Help us to imbibe the qualities of St. Ignatius of Loyola and take forward his charism. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. My memory and 
sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Holy church. May these offerings we make to you as we celebrate St. Ignatius be pleasing, Lord God, and grant that the sacred mysteries which you have made the fount of all holiness may sanctify us too in the truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For you summon us to imitate the discipline of Saint Ignatius, that we may hear the voice of the Spirit with docile and trusting hearts. And you move us to conform our life to Christ, that we might imitate him, the model of every virtue. Through him, O Father of mercy, we are preordained by you that by responding to your gifts, we may complete the journey of faith, be sustained by the support of hope, be refreshed by the strength of love. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, oh, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth, on earth as it is, it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Receive it. Amen. Let us make an act of spiritual communion and experience the Lord within our hearts. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of St. Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end through Christ our Lord. Amen. A word of gratitude. I wish to thank each one of you for participating in this Eucharistic celebration in honor of St. Ignatius of Loyola, whose feast we celebrate today. And I pray and wish each one of you a blessed feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May God who created you to praise, reverence, and serve him by loving him above all things and all things in him, sustain you by the particular grace to be faithful in your calling. Amen. Amen. May Christ, who desired our Holy Father Ignatius to serve him under the banner of the cross, call you to follow him and make you faithful servants of his kingdom. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, who inspired St. Ignatius and his companions to serve the church even to the farthest ends of the earth, lead you to the reward promised to faithful laborers of the gospel. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to say and do for the greater glory of God. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Oh uh -huh.